So welcome to our next episode on how to become a OneDrive Ninja. Today we're gonna to talk about how you can access your files offline. What do I mean by that? Let's say you're gonna go on a flight and you wanna get some real work done when you're in airplane mode. That means your laptop, your tablet, isn't gonna have cloud access. So how do you overcome that? We're gonna talk about these features and how you can do it, as well as what these icons mean. So let's get into it. We are looking at my desktop on the sync client and as you can see you know i have it here i'm in the counting folder like i have before and you'll notice i have four files in here with a different status icon well what do these icons mean so this cloud icon means that if i were to disconnect my computer from the internet or network access because this file only exists in the cloud and it's just showing me that I have access to that file here. So this is just like a little header icon showing that. If I go to click on it, you'll see this icon, see it change immediately to a checkbox. What it did in the background is it downloaded this file local to my computer so I can access it. That's important to realize because let's say that this is a very, very large Excel spreadsheet, maybe 10, 20 megs, 30 megs in size. Maybe it might be a PowerPoint presentation that could be 30 megs. If that's the case, you're gonna take a little bit for it to download that file. Let's say that maybe you're on a laptop that has poor internet connection. Before that file open, it's gonna go through that download process to let you have access to it. That's important to realize that if you're gonna be doing the scenario like I was talking about where you're flying in a plane, you don't wanna to have to go through here and click on each of these files to download them, right? So that you'll have access to them offline. So now see, all of them have the little circle with the check, which means they're, they're locally cached on this computer. Now, if I wanna free up space, let's say that I don't wanna have all these available or some of them, I could highlight these and I can right click and say, um, free up space. And if I do that, you'll see it kind of basically remove the local copy of the file. I can still open it. See, if I go and it'll re-download it again, see, there it is, the checkbox. Uh, but what it's just doing is freeing up space because maybe a lot of these files could be videos or they could be you know larger files that you just don't necessarily always want to keep on your machine don't fret it does a really good job of keeping those files that you don't regularly access it will remove them off of your local copy and just keep them in the cloud but in this scenario we said we're going to be flying and we know that we want to make sure that we have this file well we, i don't want to sit here let's say this accounting folder I don't want to have to open all these accounting files to make them locally cached. I want to make sure that it is always going to be on this device. So how do I do that? I check this little box that says always keep on this device. So I right clicked on the folder and I said keep on this device. So now that I said that, it's going to download all the contents of that accounting folder. And now you notice it's a solid green with a white check. And what that basically means is this file and anything, any files that we put in here will always be downloaded. So if, if I create a new file here, you'll see that it's gonna have a check that's solid, which what that means is it's never going to try to remove this off of this machine. It will always synchronize this data up to the cloud, so it's always available. So even if I unplug the internet, I'll still be able to edit the files, and then when I plug the internet back in, it will sync it back to the cloud for me. So it's a really nice feature. This is a really a very, very helpful for you when you're gonna be traveling. So now another thing that you can do if you decide later on, you're like, okay, I've done doing my traveling. I don't really wanna have this always on my machine. You can uncheck that. So now it makes it available to remove any files that you're just not accessing on a regular basis. Um, now, like I said, it doesn't delete them. It's just removing the local copy and it'll just turn it to a cloud and make it look like So I hope this was helpful for you guys to understand what those icons mean and how you can access files offline. Next, we're gonna talk about how you can share files so that you can allow others to collaborate with you on OneDrive. So stay tuned.